Hi everybody and welcome to the video. I am Matteo from the FPV Combat Project. Today I'm gonna start recording a few video tutorials that are gonna explain you and give you all the informations that you're gonna need to know in order to get the best experience from the project. So I don't want to scare you so and don't be worried. There are different levels of complexity how you can approach to the system. We're gonna start from the very basic setup and in the next videos I'm gonna explain you the additional functionalities. Before jumping into today's topic, I want to spend a few moments making a quick recap about what the FPV combat system is. It is basically a platform that adds functionalities of fighting based on the infrared technology. You can install it on any RC model that is using a standard RC PWM receiver. The integrated OSD will give you additional information on your FPV feed if you're using an analog system. If you are a digital user, there, are, there is the possibility to install uh, addressable LEDs that are giving you uh, this, almost the same information as the OSD. Of course, you will miss the part of the uh, navigation into the menu. That being said, the board can also manipulate the control of the model and you can set up different parameters in order to fix it and adjust it to your needs. That being said, we can start with the topics of today. As I said before, I want to start to wire up the system starting from the very basic setup. So here you can see the FPV Combat Control Board version 2.4. On the left side of the board you can see the three pins which are actually the servo standard connectors. In this diagram I'm gonna show you all the connection with the white wire at the very top of the connector. Let's start by wiring up our sensor. You can use the included female to female servo extension cable and wire up, how you can see here in this diagram. A lot of people are asking about the possibility to connect more than one sensor to the board. The answer is yes, you can use this diagram as a reference to wire up your sensor and use directly the sensor as Y cable. Installing more than one sensor will give you the maximum coverage for the system, so you will be sure that the player will be able to hit you from any direction. The next component that we are gonna need to connect is of course the gun and depending by the direction of the servo connector and how you plug it into the PCB of the gun you can select two different power levels for the shooting. So when the gun is plugged in in one way the LED on the board will blink in blue while, while shooting and that's indicating that the shooting gun is set at the minimum power and it is better for the darker environments. If you want the maximum shooting power, just flip the connector on the left side, as you can see here in the picture. The LED will blink red and then you will have the maximum shooting power available from the system. The next step is to connect the component that will gonna give us the signal to trigger the shoot of the system. We can use a standard PWM receiver or for example a flight controller that you can configure to forward the standard PWM signal. You can connect the battery depot directly to the board and the board can be powered from 2S LiPo up to 9S high voltage. If you don't care about the, all the additional features and more advanced functionalities of the board, you could start already joining it right now. You just go out, power the board and start having fun. If you want the best from the board, of course you're gonna need to connect a couple of extra stuff to the system. If you're using an analog setup, you can now connect the camera and the VTX to your board. The camera can take the power directly from the board and it will be powered out of 5 volt locally generated. On the VTX port you will find the same voltage of the battery that you connect on the other side. Please check that the VTX can be powered directly from the battery that you're using. In the next step, if you want the system to manipulate the control of your model, you can wire up the signal from the receiver into the board and then from the board to the axis that you want to manipulate. It can be a servo or an ESC or electronic switch. Depending by the configurations that you want, I'm gonna talk about that in the next videos. If you want some visual feedback, you can connect some LEDs to the board. It can drive two different types of LEDs. The first is the WS2812B 
addressable LEDs that you can find on the market right now, very popular. And the board will control the color and the brightness and depending by the state, you will get the feedback in your field of view if you're using, for example, some digital FPV system. If you prefer, you can stay with the more traditional LEDs, the LEDs that can be powered directly by 12 volts or 3S battery can be driven directly by the board. Please take a look at the documentation where you can find some more details about the connections of these kind of LEDs. Last but not least, you can plug the HC12 module. This is a module that is very common over the internet and will add the functionality to get the real-time feedback when you are playing with other FPV combat users. This module is also needed if you want to join the games which are integrated and implemented into the firmware at the current release. This is how it looks, the final wiring diagrams, when you want to use all the features that the FPV combat board can handle. If you are a digital user, you can just skip the part of the camera and the VTX. However, I strongly recommend you to get easy access to the VTX port in order to be able to connect, for example, an external monitor to change the parameters on the field without running into crazy wirings. I really hope you liked the video and you found all the information you were looking for in today's topic. Leave a comment if you have an advice or you want to know something specific or check the link in the description if you want to contact me directly in the page on Facebook, Messenger or emails. Don't hesitate to write me. Have a good fight.